So this video explains how a torque converter works. Now, torque converters are used in automatic cars so that the car can come to a stop without getting out of gear uh, while leaving the car in gear. There's four main components to a torque converter. You're going to have a flywheel. Well, this isn't part of it, but the torque converter is directly connected to the flywheel. A turbine, a pump, and a stator. And then you're going to have a fluid inside. So what happens is your flywheel is going to be spinning, uh, which is connected to the engine shaft, the crankshaft, so that's going to be rotating from the engine, and there's a pump inside of the torque converter, and that's going to push a fluid out, rotate this green turbine, which is going to be connected to the transmission. So this shaft right here is going to the transmission. And inside there's a fluid that's causing this to happen. So what it's going to look like for the fluid flow inside is you're going to have this pump which is connected to the flywheel. So all this, everything in black is connected and will be rotating. So as that rotates it's going to throw the fluid to the outside. Well as that fluid's thrown to the outside it's going to move this direction, come in contact with this turbine, spin this turbine which is connected to the transmission so then that'll go towards turning the wheels and then come to this stator here it'll the fluid will hit the stator turn directions and then go back and the cycle will continue and then you can drive your vehicle so what it looks like inside so first we're going to look at this pump now you're going to have it look like this inside and there's going to be these grates and so the fluid's going to come into these grates and then move out at a higher velocity so if this pumps spinning very quickly at whatever engine RPM you're at. Uh, it's going to be throwing the fluid to the outside through centrifugal force and that's going to be throwing this fluid out in this direction. Now, so that's in black right here. Now that fluid's going to come across and go to this turbine. So what happens is the fluid comes in contact with the turbine and the turbine's going to reverse the direction of the fluid so that it can absorb that torque. Otherwise, the fluid would just spin and nothing would really happen. So, it's, the fluid's going to come in the turbine through these grates and then come out in a different direction. And what that does is causes this turbine to spin in the same direction as the pump. If you put these together, they're going to be rotating in the same direction. So as that rotates, then it's going to cause, connected to your transmission, connected to the shaft, connected to the transmission, turning your transmission. Now, the problem here is that this fluid is going to be rotating in a different direction than this pump as it exits. So you're going to have this stator, that's this red item in the middle. So the fluid's going to come into the turbine, get shot out in a different direction, and then this stator's going to be a fixed object in the middle. It's connected to a separate shaft than the turbine. And so the fluid's going to come in reverse directions and come out the other side in the opposite direction. It's kind of like a U in there. So the fluid's going to flow in and then come back out in the other direction so that it'll be rotating in the same direction as the pump and then the cycle just continues. Now the torque converter will be located between the engine and the transmission as you can see in this small little diagram here. Uh, and there's a couple advantages and disadvantages. Uh, one of the advantages of the torque converter is that you can have more torque from a stop. So say you're at a red light and you're holding your foot on the brake, you can give it gas. This pump will begin to spin, this turbine will begin, will have a torque on it ready to go. So the second you let off the brake, that big torque force that you've created by spinning this quicker than this will go toward your wheels. Whereas in a manual car, you're going to have direct contact between the transmission and the engine via clutch and so you can't spin those at different speeds whereas a with a, an automatic car you can be at a higher rpm than your transmission is spinning at um, the problem with, it, with this is that it weighs power if if your engine is spinning faster than your transmission then you're not going to have a 100 percent efficiency and you're going to waste fuel so that's the basics of a torque converter